All right, you guys, so this is part two of Relentless. So we have Mina who has a one o'clock showing for Paul, girl, oh Lord. One o'clock showing for Paul. And before she decides to head out to um, this particular estate, she has a couple of paperwork, you know, pieces of paperwork from the previous week that she just needs to um, find, uh, follow away, excuse me, before she goes out to meet him, okay? So she looks over also um, the details of this particular estate. It sits on three acres. Um, it's a fairly large estate and it's old. It actually had been listed for a couple of months and so um, built in the early 50s, five bedrooms, three and a half baths. Um, and it also has a little guest house in the back. So typically, you know, people who are moving into the area like to get the newer um, properties. And so she found it kind of odd that someone coming all the way from LA was interested in this particular lot. So anyway, Mina adjusts her, you know, makes sure she looks okay and well put together, even though she gained a couple of pounds, but mama's wearing it well, right? So she heads out to this estate, you guys, and it's almost going outside of their little town which is another you know thing. so Mina goes ahead and heads out to the estate and um, before she jumps into her car she looks down and she sees that she has a text message from her girl Courtney wanting to know if they're still on for tonight and so Mina texts her back real quick and said absolutely girl it's my big 3-0 I will be there okay so um, Mina is feeling a little sad because unfortunately her husband Quentin cannot make her her birthday party he's out of um He's out of town for a business trip, and so he apologized, apologized, but she knew that this this particular um, trip was really important for him, and she's like, you know, there there will be other birthdays, and you know, you go make that money, okay? So anyway, y'all, Mina's going ahead and, and meeting Paul out here. So she arrives a little early, looks around, she sees he hasn't arrived yet. Um, she goes ahead and goes inside of the house, and she's you know making sure that things are wiped down, and she has cleaners to come in every week for this particular project just to make sure everything is spick and span and nothing needs to you know really be um, updated so a couple of minutes later she hears a car outside and she notices a black Dodge Charger pulling up and she's like hmm that's an interesting car for um, whatever so she looks and she sees this man very handsome tall gentleman step out of the Charger with a salt and pepper beard Ooh. Girl, yes, Boris Kudrow on aged well, honey. So, even though Mina has been happily married to Quentin, she still notices when uh, someone's attractive. She's like, hmm, interesting. So, he smiles at her and starts walking up towards the house. And, you know, he's like, Mina? She's like, yes, hi, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Winthrop. And, and then she stopped herself. She said, it's nice to meet you, Paul. Because remember, he said, call me Paul. Don't be calling my old ass, Mr. <laughs> Uh, anyway, y'all, because remember, Paul is, in, Paul is in his early 50s. He's like 50 at this point, and Mina's turning 30. Girl, 20-year age difference, but Paul is looking. So anyway, y'all, sorry. So Mina's like, well, um, it's nice to meet you. How was your flight? And I understand that you flew in from L.A. just a couple of days ago. He's like, actually, I flew in last night. She's like, wow, you're already wanting to view something? He's like, well, yeah, I really want to go ahead and move out here as soon as possible. I'm, you know, finalizing some business deals back in L.A. And I just want to, you know, go ahead and move out here and get started. He's like, well, let's go ahead and get you started then. So she starts to tour. She shows him, you know, the front of the house and the living room, um, the study and, you know, the bedrooms. And this seems to be a fairly large size for you. So do you plan on having a roommate? Typically, Mina doesn't, you know, ask those type of questions. But, um, you know, she really hasn't been showing any houses, y'all. So she's a little curious why this man needs all this room. And he says, actually, this is a downsize for me. And that shocks her. She's like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, my last house had seven bedrooms. And Mina's like, wow. So, you know, she's how like, do you like it? He's like, well, if it, everything is nice, I may have to have a little bit more um, work done in the front of the house. But he's like, you know, I like it. Um, I know that we have another viewing in a couple more days. So, you know, um, let's wait till we can view that particular lot. And then from there, we could take it from there. And, you know, I mean, it's like, absolutely. So they're making small chit chat. And she heads down, you know, she goes down 
And so they're making just small chit chat. And so that's when Mina says, okay, well then um, I'll give you a call before we do the next viewing in three more days. He's like, okay, great. It was nice to meet you finally. And she's like, it was nice to meet you as well. So he drives off and Mina, you know, sees him drive off. She jumps into her car and heads back to the office. She works a little bit, you know, doesn't have a lot to do. Cause like I said, she's really hasn't been showing any, um, having any viewings lately cause it's just been that slow in her, in their particular area. So she goes ahead and goes over to her um, big mama house to pick up um, the baby. Z Z what is her name, y'all? Zuri? Girl, I forgot the baby's name already. She So she goes into her big mama's house and picks up her daughter. And she's so happy to see her. She smothers her in kisses. And that's when she lets her big mama know, you know, is it okay if you keep her tonight? Because I'm going to go ahead and have and meet up with Courtney at the lounge. She's like, you don't even have to ask me, baby. Yeah, I'll keep my little great grandbaby. And so, um, Amina had dropped off some, some dinner, even though her, her, grandmother had cooked she uh dropped off some some extra snacks and stuff for her child okay so mina goes ahead and goes home and she relaxes she's not meeting up with courtney for a few hours later like around nine o'clock and she doesn't even get off of work till five so she's just relaxing around seven or so she decides to get ready you know she does her hair she puts in a really nice cute tight black dress hugging all the right places girl so she goes ahead and heads out to the lounge this is a nice lounge that she even though she's really busy with her child and just being a wife um she still tries to go out so she shows up and she sees that courtney has gotten them a table um towards the front and that's fine she would mean it really doesn't like to sit in the front of the restaurant but she's like whatever all right y'all sorry about that i have to take a break girl so it's been a while a minute so anyway um mina decided to go ahead and meet up with her girlfriend courtney at the lounge to help celebrate her 30th birthday big 3-0 and you know courtney sees her she's like hey birthday girl and she gives her friend a hug and they start to catch up on things it's been a minute since she's seen courtney so um courtney is actually engaged to be married but mina is kind of surprised because she thought courtney would be the type to just you know be okay with being single but she finally met someone and she's engaged to be married so anyway they're catching up having drinks and all of a sudden Mina goes to the bathroom. She's like, she excused herself to go to the bathroom. As she's coming out, as she's walking out of the restaurant, she's really not looking where she's going. And so she's adjusting her dress. And that's when she accidentally runs into, guess who it should be while he's making his way to the men's restroom. It is Mr. Paul, one of that chow. And he's like, um, I'm so sorry. And that's when he looks up and when he recognizes who it is, he's like, Mina. He's like, well, look at you. Don't you clean up? It's just like, She's like, and she kind of blushes and she's like, oh, thank you. She's like, you know, he's like, well, what are you all dressed up for? You know, being nosy girl, nosy and messy. So she goes ahead and says, well, it's my birthday party. You know, I'm turning to big three oh, so I'm here with my best friend, Courtney, and we're just celebrating together. And he's like, oh, a beautiful woman like you shouldn't be alone on your birthday child and Mina's kind of taken aback by that she's like well actually my husband is away on a business trip and you know we're hoping to celebrate when he arrives in town in a few more weeks and that's when Paul you know he's like well I'm sorry I don't mean any disrespect I just meant like that a attractive young woman like you shouldn't have to spend her birthday alone he said, well, anyway, let me not hold you up. Happy birthday and take care. I'll see you in a couple more days. She's like, that's right. See you in a couple more days. So she makes her way to the, um, <laughs> to her chair. And guess who's looking at her? Courtney, child. Courtney's like, um, uh, hello. <laughs> and Mina's like, yeah. She's like, well, who was Mr. Salt and Pepper? You don't think I didn't see that? So Mina explained that is her um, client and she was showing him a, a house earlier in the day. That's when a bartender, excuse me, the waiter comes over and hands her a drink. And Mina was like, I didn't order this. And that's when she looked over and said, well, actually the gentleman at the bar ordered you the drink. And so Mina looked around and see, and she doesn't see anyone, but sure enough, she knows it was Paul, but Paul had went ahead and left the actual lounge girl by this time. So Courtney was like, huh? Seems like more than just a client to me. And Mina's like, you silly Courtney. It's nothing like that. I just met him today. And he, I told him it was my birthday and he just ordered me a drink, I guess. So they go ahead and continue celebrating her birthday there. Mina, you know, is getting tired. So she says goodbye to Courtney. She goes to her big mama to um, get her baby. As 
as she arrives, Mina looks around in the house and she notices that the lights on, some lights on are on in her house and she knew she turned everything off. So she gets the baby out the car seat, walk into the house and she noticed that there are um there and she notices that there are flowers everywhere in the living room and that's when quentin walks in through the kitchen area and he's like happy birthday baby he had ordered her 30 dozen of red roses y'all for her birthday and she was so excited she rent runs to him um the baby runs to him and she's surprised she's like i thought you weren't due back for a couple of more weeks he's like you mean to tell me you think i would miss my baby's birthday he's like happy birthday baby they hug and kiss and she's so excited but in the back of her head she's still thinking about the mysterious mr paul winthrop this is part two, y'all. We're going to drag this one out, too.